Greetings everybody, John Sire here with some more Watch Dogs 2 preview coverage. This game is coming out on November 15th, 2016, and in this video I get to show off the entire world of Watch Dogs 2. This is a full lap around, well starting in downtown San Francisco, crossing the Golden Gate Bridge as you can see straight ahead, beautiful Golden Gate Bridge. Um, and then we drive north to Marin County, then we cut over east to Oakland, and then back south again to Silicon Valley. And in the previous uh, preview videos that I put out, there was a limitation to how much of the whole world I could show. But now, uh, after this most recent preview that I got to be a part of, and again, thank you Ubisoft very much for uh, inviting me out to the preview and letting me get this early release coverage. Uh, there are no limitations to what part of the world I can show. And uh, in some later videos, I, I mean, I, I got a ton of great footage at this last preview. Uh, I, got to, I got a five-star uh, rampage out on Alcatraz. Uh, oh, God. The, I, I did... The, there were a whole bunch more side quests unlocked, like sailing and uh, the go-karts, which were actually pretty boring. But the, um, all the skills were unlocked. Uh, now, unfortunately, I cannot show the map yet. I do have that footage recorded, but uh, due to the embargo that I agreed to, to be able to post this video early, uh, I, I cannot show the full map quite yet. Now, um, it's not the full Oakland, uh, as, you'll, well, as you'll see eventually. It's very, like the size of Oakland in this game and Silicon Valley and all the other ancillary cities to San Francisco in this game are very small compared to San Francisco itself. San Francisco is really the main focus of this map. Uh, so um, if I remember correctly, um, well, when, when you're in downtown San Francisco, they have the Beatnik Stadium, which is essentially the San Francisco Giants Stadium. There is no uh, Oakland Coliseum where the A's play and the Raiders play and that kind of stuff. So, uh, Oakland's very tiny, is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I To talk more about this preview, I, I had an amazing time, uh, especially with the multiplayer, and I, I have quite a few other videos coming out from this preview that I got to record. Oh, I also want to mention that uh, the, the full lap around the city took about 10 minutes, just over 10 minutes, and I did not have the turbo boost unlocked yet in this car, or, uh, the, the turbo skill unlocked. It's a universal skill that you can upgrade, and unfortunately, uh, due to the embargo, I cannot show the full skill tree yet. I do have that stuff recorded, so as soon as that embargo lifts, I'll be posting a video of just the skill tree stuff. But one of the earlier upgrades is a universal car turbo boost that uses uh, the, uh, the same energy that you use to uh, spin cars out of the way or hack people's cell phones. You can just hold down the X button. Oh, I'm playing on the PlayStation 4, by the way. That is... Uh, the, the PlayStation 4 is the lead platform for Watch Dogs 2, in case you didn't know. Um, every preview that I've done for this game has been recorded on the PlayStation 2. This is... Uh, despite being online, we were all connected local, by a local area network in, in the other multiplayer videos. I'll get more into that. But anyway, um, at, at the event, they really did a lot to stress and talk about uh, the world and the story and the characters involved in, all, all, in the hacking culture. And the story and the acting and the writing is much better than I had uh, originally anticipated, especially after Watch Dogs 1. Um, I, I have a full uh, video edited of the Cyber Driver uh, mission. Uh, it's, it's a series of, I believe, four different mini missions that uh, all, all, are all part of the Cyber Driver mission. It's really funny. I'll, I'll be posting that later. And uh, like the, the acting and the writing is so much better than I, I really expected <laughs> from a Watch Dogs game. And one of the, you know, during this preview session, they had, uh, I think her name was Violet Blue. 
uh, she's one of the story uh, leads and like one of I forget what her exact title was but she was uh, involved with Watch Dogs and involved with like designing the hacker and writing the hacker culture quote unquote ah here's the glitch I was talking about you just kind of hit an invisible wall for a second while the game kind of catches the load up and then all the cars immediately in front of you just kind of crash and spin out um, anyway and they spent a lot of time uh, at, at the beginning of the session kind of talking about hacker culture and the history of hacker culture and all these different hacker groups throughout the world and uh, hacktivism versus like the words that she used uh, explicitly were you know that the hacker groups who are into hacktivism versus hacker groups who are in it just for the lulls and uh, the, the, what I've kind of gathered so far from just these preview sessions is that uh, Marcus Holloway, the, the main character in this game, and this group that you're a part of, they're definitely doing it for both. They are, <laughs> they're, uh, they're, they're, they're using their hacker powers for good and for hilarious. Um, and I guess probably for evil as well, depending on how you look at it. Oh, and uh, the purple, anything purple that shows up on the screen, that is a multiplayer event. Someone just hopped into my game and tried to hack me, uh, very similar to Watch Dogs 1, and, um, and steal my money or steal my reputation or gain reputation for themselves. And uh, if you are not interested in that, it's extraordinarily easy to just continue driving and get outside of the, the range of the hack and go from there. Uh, I'm going to swap cars right here because I realized the car that I started with is smoking and probably about to explode <laughs> so i steal something a little bit faster here give her a little uh, uh kiss in the mouth just to make sure she knows it's my car now anyway uh so one of you know one of the things that i've loved about the assassin's creed games over the years is how they do such an incredibly good job um teaching history if you're genuinely interested in that through uh, their side quests and through like extra mission text uh, and extra dialogue and stuff like that. Like if you are actually interested in ancient Italian history or English history or French history or whatever, it's, it's easy and very entertaining to learn those things. And the way that uh, Violet Blue was talking about uh, the history of hacking and all these things, it, it, it gave me hope that within the full version of Watch Dogs 2 that they're actually going to make an effort to teach you about the history of hacking because hacking and hacktivism, I mean, other than anonymous, you really don't hear about it very much in the news and it's certainly not in textbooks, but I mean, starting, like, she quoted or she came out and said, like, the first hacker, the first hacking group was... Oh, I forget what it was called, but the group that Steve Wozniak uh, created in in the San Francisco area, where they were uh, uh, basically uh, taking like pay phones and reverse engineering them so that they could like send a signal, an audio signal to, I think it was AT and T, and then get free phone calls. I mean, some like kind of kind of childish stuff in retrospect but like really kind of revolutionary and groundbreaking at the time so my my hope is is that in the full game that they really uh make an effort to or at at least have that kind of information in the background if you are interested to see it in in the same way that assassin's creed has done such an amazing job uh teaching you about history and and historical events if you are in fact interested in reading about those things um, anyway, so I am uh, getting close to the end of the full lap here. Uh, you can see the Golden Gate Bridge, just the tip of it, out, uh, off in the distance. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for more Watch Dogs 2 preview videos. Let me see, I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more <laughs> Watch Dogs 2 videos. Uh, edited and almost ready to go that I'll be posting over the next few days so be sure to stay tuned for that um, and uh, yeah when the full game comes out I, I don't know what my plans are for videos for the full game um, but I know that I'll be playing through the whole campaign 
time. Just because the writing and the acting has really blown me away compared to the last Watch Dogs. It's really a leap forward. Um, it's still not as... The side quests leave so much to be desired, but roaming the world and the story and all that, I've really enjoyed the hell out of it. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, game on.